In this lesson, let's learn about the degree of curvature method. Consider the fan shape OAB as shown in the figure. The central angle theta and the length of the arc L are proportional, and if we take the ratio of the arc length L to the radius R of the fan, the ratio is constant regardless of the size of the fan for the same angle theta. The degree of curvature method is a way to express angles using this. How is the degree of curvature method expressed? The degree of curvature method uses the arc length L and the radius R of the fan in the following formula, theta equals L divided by R. The unit is radians and is written as rad. Let's apply the definition to find the angle. The radius of the arc is r equals 5 and is a 90 degree fan. The length of the arc is l equals 2 pi times 5 times 90 divided by 360, which is reduced down to 5 divided by 2 pi. Applying the definition, we get theta equals 5 pi over 2 over 5, which is reduced down to pi over 2. Next, let's consider a semicircle with radius r equals 1. The length of the arc is l equals 2 pi times 1 times 180 over 360 equals pi. Applying the definition, we get theta equals pi over 1, which equals n. From the previous example, we know that 180 degrees equals pi rad. 次は半径がr=1の半円を考えてみましょう。The radius of the arc is r equals 5, and it is a 90 degree fan. The length of the arc is l equals 2 pi times 5 times 90 divided by 360, which is reduced down to 5 divided by 2 pi. Applying the definition, we get theta equals 5 pi over 2 over 5, which is equal to pi over 2. Next, let's consider a semicircle with the radius r equals 1. The length of the arc is l equals 2 pi times 1 times 180 over 360, which equals pi. Applying the definition, we get theta equals pi over 1, which equals pi. From the previous example, we know that 180 degrees equals pi rad. Therefore, the following relationship between the degree method and degree of curvature method holds true. 1 degree equals pi over 180 rad. Now let's do some practice. Press the pause button and try to solve the practice problem. Once you are finished, press the resume button and mark what you got correct. Now let's check our answers. For number 1, theta equals 30 times pi over 180, which is equal to pi over 6. For number 2, theta equals 45 times pi over 180, which is equal to pi over 4. For number 3, theta equals 120 times pi over 180, which equals 2 pi over 3. And finally, for number 4, theta equals 225 times pi over 180, which is equal to pi pi over 4. Were you able to answer all four questions correctly? That concludes this lesson.